Hello, Falcon families. It's Mr. DeLuca. I'm here with Mr. Wrinkle, Mr. Westcott, and Mr. Amore here. Um, hopefully, everyone had a great spring break this past week and was able to just check out a little bit from our online learning. But we wanted to take a moment today to reach out to you to see how things are going, but also to reconnect with you as we enter back into the uh, remote learning environment uh, tomorrow. So to discuss today about remote learning and some of the important dates, I'm going to pass over to Mr. Westcott, Mr. Amore, uh, and Mr. Wrinkle to go over these important dates. Mr. Amore, what do you got for us? So I hope everyone's doing okay. Um, the schedule for remote learning will remain the same um, that we have been doing, but just a reminder, um, Mondays are reserved for first and second hour with first hour going from eight to 11 and second hour 12 to three. Tuesdays and Thursdays are our support hour. So that's time for you to work on assignments, connect with your teachers, or get outside, get some exercise, do something fun. Uh, Wednesdays are third and fourth hour. Again, third hour, eight to 11, fourth hour, 12 to three. And Friday is uh, fifth hour and sixth hour, same time slots. Um, just keep in mind, um, those time slots are, for, think of it as office hours for your teacher. If your teacher is going to go live and online, that's when they will do it. Um, but keep uh, in contact with your teachers, um, check their websites, check their Google Classrooms for assignments, and just make sure you keep that open line of uh, communication with them. Um, more from Mr. Rinkle. All right, Falcons, once again, we miss you a lot. We, we cannot wait to see you guys again. Um, but before we do that, um, we obviously have to get through this period of remote learning. And one of the biggest concerns that you guys have, and we know you have it, uh, involves your grades. Um, so just to reiterate a couple points that were sent out to you over the weekend, letter grades will be given during remote learning. So what you will receive for semester two is either a G, which indicates that you passed the class and you received credit, or an H, which indicates that you did not pass and did not receive the credit for the class that you took. Um, this is based on work that you guys did before March 11th um, when we stopped school. Um, and other work that's done during remote learning. Um, and the teachers are, are kind of working with you on this. They're here to um, be there for you and to, to help kind of you get the best grade that you can receive. And so if you've not reached out to your teacher yet, um, it is very important that you do that as soon as possible. Um, tomorrow when we restart remote learning, um, they're on, they're ready to go, they're ready to be there for you. Um, so reach out to them either through email or Google Classroom or whatever they have set up to help you um, and so that you can make sure that your grade is in good standing. Um, last thing uh, about grades is GPA. So uh, again, we know that this is a concern that's on your mind, um, but the grades that you will receive in the second semester do not have any impact either positively or negatively on your GPA. Um, so it's just merely credit. Um, and or no credit based on your work before March 11th and your work that's done during remote learning. Um, but again, most important takeaway is that we're here to help you. And so your teachers are standing by, they're gonna be ready to connect with you and help you get what you can receive um, to, to pass the class and to move on to either graduation or to the next semester in the fall when we see each other again. Um, so from here, I'm gonna pass it to Mr. Westcott to talk about attendance. Hi everybody, welcome and good morning, or I guess afternoon, depending on when you're watching the video. I'm gonna talk about probably the other big question other than grades, which would be attendance. And attendance is gonna look a little bit different, and it's not set up completely in synergy yet, but it's gonna be taken on a weekly basis. So instead of every day there being an attendance mark, it's gonna look more like a weekly attendance instead of a daily. And then attendance would basically be if a student turned an assignment in, connected on an online discussion, connected through a, an online um, video meeting, um, made a connection with the teacher during that week with even an email or something like that. So really it's that participation piece or that attendance piece is looking at a connection with the classroom, the teacher assignment during that week. And then when you talk about grades, you talk about attendance, or you just talk about kind of this process as we're kind of looking, moving forward with this online learning, um, there's gonna be a lot of questions that are, are, are coming up, whether it's talking about locker cleanup or picking up an item at school for that involves the performing arts or athletics. We're gonna figure those out and get that information out to you. Seniors, I'm sure you have a lot of questions as well, or I'm sure incoming eighth graders have questions that they want answered as well. And again, we gotta be thoughtful about that. 
take our time and make sure we get that message out to the community. Dan? All right, um, just a few important dates coming up. Um, beginning tomorrow, April 13th, the remote learning will resume. Um, final day for seniors will be May 15th. Um, on Memorial Day, May 25th, there will be no classes for any students. And the final day for all students has been moved up to um, June 5th. So with, uh, with no exams and no um, celebrations during that time in school, um, June 5th will be the final day for all students. So to wrap up, back to Mr. DeLuca. Thanks, Mr. Moran, Mr. Rinkle, and Mr. Westcott for uh, just going through that document that you received uh, probably yesterday in, in your inboxes. But uh, I really want to tell our, our students out there um, one thing is that we miss you, we love you, and it, I, Rock Central High School is not the same without you. I could, I could attest to that. I'm sure the three of you could attest to that as well, is that our school building, uh, walking in there, it's a lonely place without our students. And um, that's the reason why we got into this business is to be with kids and to, to be in an educational environment. And so we definitely miss you guys. Um, I did want to say one thing to our seniors um, moving forward. Seniors, this is a, a, you know, to end your, your senior year like this is just something that's uh, catastrophic. All the different events that you could probably be anticipating. I'm sure a lot of us probably already shopped for our tuxedos or we probably went dress shopping before this all happened. There's a lot of like what ifs or what's going to happen. Um, I want to let you know that uh, I can't guarantee you anything. But uh, right now, Mr. Uh, Cruzamano and Mr. Shelson, the principals over at uh, Stone Adams, we're working together with our senior class advisors and we're working on, on um, alternatives and some alternative dates. So parents, um, I'm trying to figure out a date and a time. Um, we don't know when or how. A lot of it is directed by uh, the governor in um, regards to the stay home order as well as um, when we can congregate together. Um, but uh, we are actively looking at contingency plans for our seniors. From, uh, having a prom in the summertime uh, to another date for graduation, we will have those events somehow, somewhere. Uh, we will have them and we'll pull them off as Rochester. Um, so I want to let our families know that. Uh, but again, uh, we miss you guys. Uh, we love you. And um, speaking with your teachers at our staff meetings weekly that we still have, um, they miss you. So one thing I can tell you, reach out to your teachers. Um, if you have not reached out to your teacher yet uh, in the last three weeks, I'm, I'm asking you to reach out via email uh, with your teacher uh, and engage with them. Parents, if you feel that your child has not engaged with their, their teacher, one of their teachers in the last three weeks, um, please reach out to that teacher directly to let them know that you're not receiving emails, you're not receiving communication for your child's online learning. Uh, but you can always hit the talk to us button on the district website and we'd be happy to respond to you uh, with any questions that you may have uh, regarding remote learning. Again, on behalf of the Rochester High School Administration and the staff, we are looking forward to working with everyone in the next uh, couple weeks here with remote learning and we will reconnect with you maybe with our video. Take care everybody.